Yo guys, what's up? It's Enas and Ed. Welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to get to a high at ELO. Um, so let's just get straight into it. My first tip to you guys would be, um, stop being a bitch. Straight up. Don't be a pussy. If you feel like uh, nothing's happening, go and enter a bomb site. Make yourself valuable. If you feel like your teammates are bad, if you feel like they're not doing anything, then... I would understand you baiting, but even then, it is much more valuable getting into a site and getting an entry, opening up a bomb site, um, than just sitting around trading your teammate and then potentially dying to the next uh, fight you're gonna take. So my first best advice would be take the game into your own hands, take initiative, um, be proactive, CT T site, T site if you notice nothing's happening, go take duels, go open up sites, CT site, go make plays, um, don't just sit around to wait for them to come to you. Might never happen. They might go to the other bomb site. So. Make sure that you're all over the map, make sure you have impact. Don't just sit around waiting for trades no matter how bad your teammates are. Alright, my second tip to you guys is don't be toxic. Now there is this famous quote, right? And I don't know who said it, I'll put it on the screen right now, but this guy said something along the lines of Toxicity doesn't lose games, bad players do. And I tend to agree, I'll be honest with you guys, I do kind of agree with that. You know, oh Madonna, the things I've seen people do sometimes. However, it is never a good thing being negative in a game. Always try to be positive, no matter what happens, okay? The amount of games I've seen turned around because the vibes were just positive is... Just, let's just say it's a super high number, okay? At all times, be positive. There's a reason um, I got to the ELO I am, you know? There's a reason I got to the ELO I was. There's a reason my even rate is so high in face. And I know what I'm talking about. Don't worry about it. Make sure you're always positive. Make sure you communicate. Be a good teammate, you know? Talk to each other. If you're going to peek something, let them know. They might peek with you. Um, no matter how bad you think your teammates are, just let them know things. So all around, I would say, um, just be a good teammate. Uh, just don't be toxic. Be positive. Just communicate. Just be a good teammate. It's not so hard. Now, going over to the third tip I have for you guys. If you play in low relo games, or even if it's like 3, 4k, or whatever the fuck. If you feel like if you could have the impact, then I would tell you, you know, just call the spots you want to play. I mean, you don't always have to be the guy in Connector or Mirage. You know, when I used to queue pugs and I noticed, uh, like, there would be good uh, players in my lobby, I would never call these spots. You know what I mean? I would, I mean, even when there were bad players on my team, um, in my first couple of 100 games when I used to queue solo, I would always play A side or Mirage. I remember. I would never call Connector or Rindo. Um, I noticed, you know, like, I was good on A. And I noticed that the randoms usually would be good in con and, you know, just mid overall. So I never really found it an issue. I mean, up until I got better and noticed that a lot of people sucked. But that's uh, down the line, you know what I mean? So don't feel like positions are all that important. At the end of the day, all that matters is a dub. You don't always have to be playing window on Mirage. You don't always have to be connected. I think you could round off tip 3 by saying just don't be uh, selfish and don't have an ego no matter how bad you feel like your teammates are. If they really want to play a spot, um, just let them play it, you know, there's a reason they want to play it. They're probably com comfortable in the spot they want to play. Alright, the fourth tip I have for you guys, number 4. You gotta know your nades, okay? You gotta know all the basics. Now, I've gone through three maps, I think, on my YouTube channel and those are all the basic nades you need to know, okay? I think I did it on Overpass, Inferno. And uh, Vertigo, I'm pretty sure. Now, if you don't know basic nades at whatever level you're at, then you're just asking to lose a lot, okay? Basic nades are super important, wins you a lot of games. Um, you can also use nades in ways that allow you to get so many free kills. Just knowing a lot of nades, I mean, I'm not gonna get into how important it is, but you should definitely know all the basic nades on every single map. I mean, if you're an avid Mirage Keeper, um, right, you love the map, you always queue it, then you gotta know all the nades, okay? And at this point, I would have to say, you gotta know all the instant window smokes if you play this map all the time. It's like, it's a necessity at this point, you know? Don't let me get started on, like, the A smokes and just the regular mid smokes, you know what I mean? Uh, don't let me get started on the nades when you're out Tetris, like, for Topcon and for uh, Jungle, etc, etc, you know? You gotta know all those things. It's super basic. But the amount of players I've seen that don't know those names, I mean, it's absurd. You gotta get on that. Trust me. Another tip I would give you guys is to queue with friends, right? Like, solo queuing, I mean, there is there is so much you can do, you know? It's so much better to queue with two other players you know that are decent, good at the game, than to queue with four randoms that are a complete gamble. Um, 
there's less risk of toxicity you know what to expect of your teammates there's better communication overall there's so many pros um, attached to queuing with teammates i would definitely suggest you queue with teammates when you play premium Right, those were my tips for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you find any of these tips useful i mean for me at least uh, i've always considered these tips i just gave you kind of like normal right so i always live by them um, and i think that's a big part of why i got to such a high elo in the beginning uh, and why i'm such high elo now let me know if it uh, helped you guys out and thanks for watching see you next video bye bye